Before getting started with this new patch for Final Fantasy XIV, I'd like to do a shout out to one of my friends who also does YouTube gaming content. I know her as Luna, but her channel is known as Zion T. She's someone who does a lot of JRPGs like I do. She really loves Genshin Impact, but she's also really into survival horror if you're into that sort of thing. And she likes to dabble in various games, and so I would certainly encourage you guys to show your support for her, subscribe to her channel, like on her videos, comment on them too. She does streaming most of the time, but it's at, at odd hours, so make sure that whenever she is streaming that you can support her whenever you can. Thanks guys. So now let's go ahead and speak with Zero again to take on our next quest entitled In Defiance of Fates. Zero's cool expression cannot hide the fire in her eyes. If we have no further business here, let's move on. Where to next? Slitherbow, the home of the Knights Blessed in the Rotika Greathood, will explain the situation to their leader, Runar. So, as they head off to the Great Wood, so will we. So, upon our arrival, let's go ahead and speak with Runar. And the girls have arrived too. Hey there, Runar. Rika, your sight for sore eyes, my friend. Will you be staying long in Slitherbow? Well, unfortunately not. Though, having said that, I suspect this isn't just a social call. Nope. We have a lot to discuss. A great plan is in motion and the Knights Blessed deserve to know. Or, we need to speak with you as leader of the Knights Blessed, it's important, but yeah. The Knights Blessed deserve to know what's going down. And so, let's explain it to you. Hmm. When you put it that way, very well. On behalf of my people, I would hear what you have to say. Alright. So here's a detailed explanation of why we're here and what we need to do. As the sun begins to set here in the Great Wood. What? Your world? Master Matoya's world? Is in grave danger? Indeed it is. And yeah, Zero's looking on. Master Matoya? Yeah, you might not know who that is, but... Yeah, allow me to explain by whispering. Ishtola. She took another name in accordance with custom when she lived among the Knights Blessed. They believe light taints everything that it touches, even their true names. Out of respect, they don't speak hers here. So, you are Zero, yes? The one who come from a world consumed by darkness. I so good to conceive of such a place. Even though darkness is now on the scene. A pitch black pole shrouds the sky, which neither the light of the sun nor the stars can pierce. It is the opposite of what you knew here in Norvrant. That being the case, I'm sure you can relate to our situation. All too well, you have my deepest sympathies. And in order to beat back the darkness in your world, you would harness light from ours. That's basically the long and short of it. And so... It is a simple yet brilliant idea. Only Master Matoya could have conceived of such. That Norvant is still in our thoughts. That we are still. Yep, a reunion is in order, but who knows how long it'll take if it ever does. So, you're not opposed to our plan? We Knights Blessed may place our faith in the dark, but we have never sought to force our beliefs upon others. If your deliverance lies in light, then by all means avail yourselves of it. 
Yeah. Shocked look on her face, like, really? I'm surprised. From what I was told of your people, I was certain you would disapprove of our methods. Do not make our mistake our reverence for darkness as a desire for it to be ascendant. Rather, in darkness there is a peace that we seek to make our own through prayer and self-reflection. Yeah, it's a lot to take in. And while light may have wrought suffering on our world, anything in excess can be harmful. Even darkness, as you and yours know all too well. If it is the wielder who is righteous or evil, not the weapon. If you would wield light for a noble cause, then who are we to deny you? An easy thing for me to say now that night has been restored to our world, perhaps. Nevertheless. <laughs> yeah, coincidentally enough. I wish you the best in your fights, Zero. May light shine your way in the darkness. <laughs> yeah, she seems so surprised to hear these things, but I understand why. Now then, to mark this joyous occasion, I must offer you a proper welcome to Slitherbow. Yeah. For those of you who remember a lot from a long time ago, you might find this interesting, Zero. If you say so. Right, let us begin with the customary greeting. How well do you know your Final Fantasy XIV, everyone? Vika, I trust you remember how to announce yourself as a friend of the Blessed. Well, we certainly do, but that's only because the game will prompt us how to go about it doing it. Yeah, if you remember all the way back to Shadowbringers, it was Alan Tuta that is their traditional greeting. And it has to be done in Say. So, let's first of all select Runar and then type it in. Which means I gotta lean forward because my keyboard is situated right under my monitor and I have to lean over in order to type it in. Friends old and new, I bid you welcome to Slitherbo. Arlen Tutor? What does it mean? In the language of Ronka, it is one of several ways one might say, Good evening. This greeting allows us to quickly discern friend from foe. It's a simple expression, but in a world bereft of night, the words, he the words held deep meaning. They were a reminder of the world as it was, when the sun and moon and the stars yet danced across the sky, and we wished one another well as the day gave, as they gave way to night. A communal tradition, so the words served to bind us. Indeed, we are no longer strangers, you and I. Next we shall have you cleansed of the light's impurities. Present yourself to Davith in yonder room, he will be glad to assist you. So, they'll head on over that way, and we shall go join them. And someone seems very happy to be here. Probably really hoping for an Ishtola Runar reunion. Hey there, Davith. There you are. Your friend has just been cleansed. How do you feel? Wet, but otherwise no difference. <laughs> Yeah, that's as simple as you'll get. <laughs> I would have been surprised if you had said otherwise. Even so, it is customary to cleanse ourselves of light with water blessed by our priests. But you have darkness again, do you not? Why continue the custom? Why, for the same reason that it was conceived. To pray for the safety of friends and visitors alike, as we pray for yours this eve. Safe travels, friend, and may blessed shadow keep you. And with a bow and a greeting with his hands. Right, if that's all, let's return to Runar and see if there's any other customs I must observe. Well, you kind of already have one already well until there. You're already wearing black. Come on, Rika. Yeah, given how all the Knights Blessed wear all black, Zero already meets that requirement. So she's already a step ahead of the curve in that regard. <laughs> All right, Zero.
I have undertaken the ritual. Yeah, with the tip of a cap. And while I can't explain it, I feel more confident than I did before. Just a touch. I'm glad to hear it. With the warrior of darkness at your side, I have no doubt that you will save your two worlds. If we can defeat Zerumus, then I, the source, will be safe. But nothing would change from my own world. There would just be one less void sent to struggle over scraps with the rest. Well, you never know. It is not so. Uh, forgive me, I spoke out of turn. It's fine. I was under no illusion. I wish it were different, of course. Yeah, and in the meantime... Rika, can you hear me? Have you met with the people of Yulmor and Raktika? Indeed we have. Yeah, we're getting a message. Excellent. Then we may proceed to the next phase of the plan without worry. Beklug has informed me that the tower is ready, so make for Nabatharang at your leisure. You got it. I've arranged for you to rendezvous with Kassad en route as well. Not only can he take you to the site of the flood, but he will also know where best to place his transmitters, given his familiarity with the route between the Crystarium and Angmarang. He will be in Twine on business shortly, so I've asked him for it to wait for you there. Alright, the plan has been set. It's all coming together. To Twine, then! It's wine it is. And it was good to see you too there, Runar. Alright. They said it's in twine, so that's where we are gonna head. Off to Amarang. So upon our arrival, yeah, as you can see with Rika, I've barely even touched any quests here in Twine. Yeah, when I was trying to get her ready for preparing for doing Endwalker, I didn't really have her emphasize side quests unless they were for Aether Currents or they were plot oriented. So let's go ahead and speak with Kassard. And so the ladies are all arrived. Your time couldn't be better, Rika. I've just finished up my business here. Lina has told me all. It will be my pleasure to take you to Nabatharang. Thank you so much. See, it looks like we're all set then. As soon as the other helpers arrive, that is. They're supposed to be along any moment now. Oh, well, we could always use more help. Rika, it is really you! Who's going along? Well, yeah, we've got one of the... Uh, I can't remember what they're... The Mords. They're known as Mords in the first. Not um, goblins or kobolds. Yeah, they're kobolds in the source. They're Mords in the first. We understand you are faced with quite a predicament. And when an esteemed customer is in need, the merchants of Mordsuk are eager to provide. The captain bade us assist you, miss, to ensure that light is delivered into the Custarium. Members of our guard will place transmitters in Lakeland, and the good people of Mordsuk will do likewise in the Hills of Amber. You need but focus on your own task in the Batharang. Sounds like we're all set to get things going. Yet more people clamoring to help you. It'd almost be more surprising if they hadn't shown up. <laughs> If everyone is ready, then let's get to work! Wait! Oh, now who wants to come along? Well, how about Magnus and his friends? You're heading to Nabotharang and didn't think to call on us? Yeah, there's Mr. Thap, 
While most of all Talos are still in a sorry state, we spared no effort in maintaining the trolley. And of course, there's Mr. Jerk. We've even upgraded it as a matter of fact. It's faster than ever and can deliver you to Nabata Orang in no time at all. And it's good to know that Shinji's old friends are getting the job done. After everything you've done for us, we just can't stand idly by. Thankwood would never let us hear the end of it. No, he wouldn't. Thank you. Thank you all so much. They're glad they could help. Did you want to come along for the ride too? <laughs> yeah, it's just like the good old days for these guys. Yeah, Magnus was more determined than ever. Of course, we all know why. Yeah, Zio's just looking around, conversing with every seeing people converse. I dare say we have ample help. Come, let's go and acquire our light. I agree. Alright, everyone. The time for chatter is over. We've got work to do. So into the dusty storm we go. And so, the next day. So this is the Flood of Light. Yep. Frozen right in its tracks. I don't remember much of the time when darkness consumed the 13th. Just the cold and the emptiness. Zero? Are you alright? Yeah, pull yourself together. And yeah, Jerk I, brought the transmitters. I'm fine. You're the one who stopped this. Well, not quite. Oh, no, no. That was the first Oracle of Light, Minthilia. She's since left us, but I inherited her power and legacy. I see. So as everyone Let's discusses get started, battle then, plan, shall we? Yeah, I'm ready if you are. So where's the best place for us to do this here in the Batharang? Yeah, these guys are getting to see what these transmitters can do firsthand, as far as getting them all set up. Of course, we still got more to do than that. And I'm just gonna go, yeah, right to the crystals themselves. The other transmitters are set. Whenever you're ready. So, let's set down one of my own. Because it's close enough, we see the crystallized light now hitting through the relay. We're definitely happy to see this is working. Such radiant light. It's almost too much for one steeped in darkness like me. Hopefully it doesn't burn you like a vampire. Yeah, and as it turns out, you can see your own reflection in it. So you are not Whatever a vampire. Whatever happened in the past, you're still here, Zero. Alive. What you couldn't do yesterday, you might still do today. So if she's thinking about these memories. This power were mine to wield. Yeah, all of a sudden, who needs ether from food? But yeah, as it turns out, light does burn her like a vampire. I will not succumb! Not to darkness! Not to light! She's so, so much going on that her hat flew off. Yeah, I think that was too much. She's... 
taken light into herself. Yeah. That was Her quite shocking. She struggles to contain it. She needs help. Yeah, all of a sudden she knows what Shinji had to go through. But yeah, can you uh, help her out there, Reen? <sighs> yeah, it turns out after going through that ordeal, she's even got some cut in her into her face now. <sighs> Thank goodness! How do you feel? Better now. I think. Yeah, that was quite a thing you did just then there. you're very, very lucky. Whatever possessed you to do that? She was hungry and needed ether? I had to know if I could command the light. If I could change my fate. Once, I would never have dared to dream it. But your friendship... And your trust has helped me to see new possibilities in myself and everything else. You certainly come a long way in four patches there, Zero. Perhaps that's why, when I beheld this world once damned yet saved, I saw the potential for mine to be saved as well. To become a world where light and darkness are in harmony, and life flourishes. A world where we're not consumed by insatiable hunger, but filled with hope for what we might create together. If I had the strength, perhaps I could make such a dream reality. Perhaps I could awaken us from this endless nightmare. That's what possessed me. Well, it certainly did. Yeah, now you've got some color in those cheeks of yours. Not just pale as a ghost anymore. If that's your heartfelt desire, then you mustn't be afraid to share it. There was a time when I lacked the courage. To voice my desires was to burden those I love. Or so I convinced myself. Then I met those who believed in me. They helped me to believe in myself and find the strength to live. Yeah, here's your hat back. And so long as I'm alive, I know that I'll be fine. No matter how dire things seem, no matter where I am, to be able to think that brought me peace. And it's a blessing I owe entirely to my friends. Those who believe in us. That's right. Thank you very much. I will remember your words. I know all too well that there's a limit to what we can achieve alone. As a friend, I'd like to help you fulfill your dream. If you wish well, we'll to take in more camp. light... I can keep the power in check and help your body accept it. And we're like, really? If anyone can do it, it'd be Reen. It worked well enough for me, or Shinji in this case, or with the power of light and dark, you'd be unstoppable. <laughs> oh, yeah, that third line definitely cracked me up when I first saw it. So it would seem. Yeah, for the first time we see right Zero there. crack a smile. I'm counting on you. Alright then. Shall we give this another try? Hold Here on tight. <laughs> and rock. Stay strong, you two. Yeah, know where the limit is. But make sure you're able to get enough. I can feel it. The light's warmth welling within me. Alright, see, I we succeeded. It, 
Uh, yeah. With this power, I will return to the void and fight for the world that once was and for those I hold dear. That's great to hear there, Zero. And as the light energy continues to get transmitted over to the Crystarium. So after our success, we've automatically been warped back to the Crystarium, so let's go ahead and speak with Zero to complete the quest. We've done our part, and I trust that the others will see the light to our destination. It's time we return to the source. I shall seek out Backlog and have them return my soul to the spear vessel. Yeah, hopefully the light that you were able to take in will be able to go with you. So, by virtue of completing this very satisfying quest, we'll get 2,265 gil. So, Reen waves goodbye and Soul Zero. Well, actually, Zero will leave and we'll speak with Reen to do the next quest.